Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 8. So in the previous episode we got a few bees set up. I'm getting redstone combs because technically the redstone lamp is one of the flowers for the redstone bee. So that's pretty cool. And the redstone bee just like plops himself in one of these. The glowstone bee does the exact same thing because this is the flower for the glowstone. See? Plonk. Glow glowing bee right there. This is doing its job pretty nicely, just pulling out of these and pushing it into this. I don't remember what that one does. Oh, and this bee keeps getting out, which is fine. I might actually pick you up again, because, yeah, don't need, don't need that one flying about. Lapis, I will probably need to put a lapis block down somewhere for that lapis bee. Lapis bee needs... Just a regular old lapis block. We can do that. That would just get us some combs. And combs are going to be very useful because we can do a bunch of... A bunch of, like, stuff with it. I've already done some redstone combs into blocks right there because we're going to make a bah bee thing in a minute. So, lapis... Quick lapis block, we can put this over in this area. Uh, stick it right there for now. There you go. Lapis B should now go like... Ooh, there's a lapis block right there. I'm going to go sniff it and then get some pollen. Wait for it. Okay, let's not wait for it. Um, I've also done a few other bits. So you might have seen that we had some diamond combs. There's no diamond block in here, but... Oh, no, I missed it. Oh, that was a bit of a <laughs> anticlimax, but oh well. Uh, right in here, I've got a diamond block, a diamond B, and up here, I've just got the same setup, uh, but I've, I'm using one of my modular routers to send the bottles, and then the other one is to collect all of the material. So that was kind of good. Uh, what else do I need? That's another thing, yeah. I got a neon cuckoo bee. Uh, there's another one right there. So these spawn in these nests, in the nests of like, there's a nomad bee there as well. We might need that later. It's, it's pretty good. And another neat, okay, these just spawning everywhere. If you just place these nests about, they'll just spawn in. So that that's one way to get a couple of bees. But I don't think they give you that much. One of them gives you like the sugar honeycomb. Uh, neon cuckoo bee, I think. Is it this one? Okay, maybe he doesn't give you. But we can use it to get the Pepto Bees Mole. And this one gives you the sugar bag, which is a light snack. It's pretty good. Uh, we can also get the Osmium and the Mineral Bee. So, might end up setting up all the bees at some point. Not right now though. Nomad. The Nomad Bee is quite interesting for us because silicon. Uh, you can also make blazing, which I'm guessing gets you blazing honeycombs, which gets you blaze powder. I haven't set any of this up yet either, so the centrifuge and stuff, but I kind of want to get off bees for a bit. Just because they've been my life. Uh, but, but before we do, Bah Bee. Let's get at least one Bah Bee and we'll. Uh, Plop that in with the diamond, and we'll just get a bunch of diamond honeycombs. And just like that, there you go. We should have a couple of bees come out of that. So, diamond bee. It doesn't say on here that it can't breed on its own with the bath bee upgrade. So, I think on the all the modium bee, this one, which also doesn't have a texture, brilliant. It says it right here. This species of bee can't breed amongst themselves. So you can't like use an all the modium bee and like feed it. I think you just ah, here we go. So you can't like feed it some all the modium with another all the modium bee and get three all the you know what I mean. So you can't do that. Which is fair enough. You have to continue to make like the wither well mate these two together. So the Wither Bee and the Ancient Bee. Mate those two together, you get the Aldermodium Bee. And then I believe 
the vibranium bee is the ancient bee and the draconic bee but that one's got a special like recipe for this so you need to like get its draconic dust from the combs so we might have to set up like a ton of these bees and i believe their pollination block is a dragon egg amazing so we might have to go the mystical route unless we want to kill a bunch of dragons Actually might be quite fun to kill like nine dragons and get one of these little uh, alcoves that we've got filled with dragon eggs. And then we can have nine bees come out. They can all pollinate at the same time. Five of them will go in here because I've only got five slots. And then the other four will wait out here until those five pop out. And as soon as those five pop out, the other four will pop back in. And it would just be like a rotating cycle. Here he is. He's doing it. Da, 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 da. Right. I think today's goal is... So we're still going towards... Let's get rid of all of this. We're going towards the Chunk Destroyer. Because this will just get us ridiculous amounts of resources. So we can kind of get... Obviously we're working on diamonds with this. I think we might have enough gold and iron. If not, we can go mine that. That should be fine. We've got the chunk marker, or the flexible marker, whatever you want to call it. The pumps we can make whenever as well. I, th I believe that's just tons of glass and some cactus. And in fact, I think our cactus is doing pretty well. It's a decent amount right there. That might be enough, you know. Because it's 160, because it's um, 80, and we need two of these. Uh, so the only thing on here that we kind of need to go and do stuff for is nether stars. Now, there is a way to combine using alchemistry. Kashik Tome from Reliquary. That will do... Yeah, that, that takes like quite a lot of charge if you do that. Uh, but obviously the way that we're going to do it is kill the wither. Because it makes sense. Uh, skulls. So I only have one right now. But I think it's probably a really good idea to go back. Yeah, let's go back to the roguelike. Or go find another roguelike and do... Like, all the levels go down to the bottom level and try and find a wither skeleton spawner. Because we found the enderman spawner and we'll just set up another mob farm. I think that'll be good. Now, this is my new way of getting into... Oh, hello. Yeah. This is how I'm going to get into uh, roguelikes from now on. Because, I mean, we can fly. If we die, that might be a pain. But... That's the best way, in my opinion. Just to <laughs> three by three it down. Uh, I'm not going to show all of this. I think I'm just going to go off and do it. And try and get to the bottom level. And then I'll show you the bottom level. So we're not quite on the final level. I think there's one after this. With like the magma blocks. And the nether bricks and stuff like that. But I did find a wither skeleton spawner right there. I've also found a bunch of other stuff. But... The only good thing I really found was this diamond sword. It's got looting 2 and unbreaking 3. So defo have that. I've also been just lobbing everything in my system using one of these ender bags. And you can pick the colours. So I've got white, white, white because that's my uh, slash home. That's the one that comes into this, right? So there you go. You can see it. It's just a handheld version of this chest that's basically what it is so I'm going to put that in my backpack definitely use that now with the skeletons, easy enough we just get another mob masher do we get another mob masher? no we don't, you know what we can do? we can stick it in the blaze spawner area with one of those aggregators Ag is it called an aggregator? Sure, I'm going to call it that. No idea what it's really called, but yeah. We just do that, and then uh, we need some beheading upgrades. Behead one of these bad boys. Oh, 
That is a lot of like annoyingness right there. So we need 10 of these, which means we need 20 of the gold helmets. And we got one apparently, so 19. Okay, let me put these three things on my bar. That's 9. That's 18, so we need to get up to here. And just like that, we should have enough. And then iron as well, do the exact same thing. Although, iron helmet, we've got, uh, those don't look amazing, the enchants on that. So hopefully we can use ones which have durability lost. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So we only need 15. So that's nine, 10. So t up to this point. I think that'll work. Be heading, and we got ten. Amazing. The reason we're using ten. It, oh, I need to sleep because that gets rid of the the rain. Eh. So the the reason we are only putting ten in here is because I think it can only take ten. Yeah, the rest of them are ten as well. So I need to break myself in here, stick this down, and then run away. So. Uh, I don't want it on 3x3, three three, so I'll just press my mining button. Let's get rid of that. I should probably... Yeah, I need to drop down into this. Do one of those, get that off, put that on. Oh, I need to fill that in as well. Just like this, we can fill that in. Why is it not spawning the... Do I need to go one higher in there, do you reckon? Because it's a... Right, it stole my cardboard box as well. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll go figure that one out. It's because the... Uh, with the skeletons, skull, the ske with the skeletons themselves, are three blocks tall, just like Enderman. So I might need to raise that. Interestingly enough, it doesn't work. The... Um, Mob spawner. When it's in here, for some reason it just wasn't spawning. So I did bring it down here just as to, and I made a little like dark area. Just do one of those. Put another little torch in here. Uh, yeah, stuck it in here. Uh, placed it down. Took the cardboard box off, and it started working. So not entirely sure why that's happening. Maybe it's too far off the ground. Could be it. That one works. Hey. Kind of want it to push that. Ah, okay. He gets unstuck after a while. But that should be giving us wither skeleton skulls. Fingers crossed. Let's have a look in. In here. Skull. Hey, we got three already. And there's another one. Oh, I just got. Uh, an achievement. Suspicious stew. Also, I can breathe underwater like really well. Respiration 2. Isn't there like a third version? I'm just getting some sand so I can make some blocks which are witherproof. Uh, so, mob grinding utils actually adds some decent blocks. Uh, I can do sand, that's 200, oh, nope, doesn't want us to, there you go, we started it, <laughs> it's because um, we've got a crafting recipe for the glass bottles, and that's constantly going, but with this we can just, maybe I should use charcoal, I feel like coal is going to be important for some reason, and I got a bunch of charcoal. So, uh, what's going on there? There you go. So, this should be enough. Ooh, kelp. Skulls. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got a ton right there. <laughs> and, as usual, we're going to do it in the mining dimension, because there's nothing there. So, if the wither does escape somehow, it is fine, because 
he's not going to like run around and wreck our colony or anything. So just a very simple something like that. Four blocks high. Maybe five blocks high, just because then you can put the roof on. Uh, actually, I want it a bit higher because it'd be it would be better to have an extra little bit like that. And there we go. Uh, I might speed that up because I don't think I said anything during that entire time. But yes, now oh, that's not it. We can do something like this. And we can put one there, but I'm not going to do it right now because I feel like we need to get like some better way of killing it. Does the mob masher work? I don't think I've ever tried the mob masher. I'll sod it. Let's just do it. Withering Heights. He's not going to do an explosion out here, is he? Oh, look at that, though. Big old damage. Nice. Oh, wow. I'm still... Bucket, quickly get a bucket, and then we can go get some milk. Oh, oh that was um dangerous. <laughs> I don't know what else we could do, to be fair. Cause normally we have, um, oh, what's it called? Foregoing, industrial foregoing, but that's not in the pack yet. Yeah, definitely not in the pack. So, uh, so, what's a good way to auto kill the wither? Wither, let's have a look. <laughs> I mean, we could go the whole wither bee. No, is there not a nether star bee? I don't think there is, you know. It's the wither bee which gives you wither combs. Mm. Interesting. Eye of the Storm is one of the craft, uh, from a, is that a Charged Creeper? Oh yeah, dropped from Charged Creeper. Not really any good way to get a Charged Creeper though, is there? Unless we find a Charged Creeper, somehow, or we make a, one single Charged Creeper, we can use the, um, the Swab. Oops, Swab. We use the Swab on it, and we get a Charged Creeper Spawn Egg, is that a thing? No, there is no charge creeper spawn egg. Okay, that's not a thing then. I mean, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for nether stars, but... Maybe we do look into alchemistry. Interesting. Um, <laughs> This has been filling up because of all of the uh, items that have been flung in there from... Oh, bl blimey. What do I do? Right. I need to figure out some sort of filter system for this. Uh, of course this happened right now. I'm just trying to sort stuff out. Leave me alone. Leave my colonists alone. There we go. Got village defender. Whatever challenge that is. Village defender. Kill 50 raiders. Ah. Oh, this is a teamstone achievement as well. It's pretty cool. Oh, I might have a, a new... Oh, I am at seven, so I can actually get another point in here. That was probably a bad idea, putting another point in here, but I've got a decent chance now of getting like those ingredients when I kill stuff. Oh, I've got loads of rewards. Blessing. Ooh. Okay, we're going to have to put that on our gear. Eventually. Uh, Yeah, no, I can't put anything in there right now. What I'm trying to do now is just get enough diamonds to get a second diamond 
uh, pipe upgrade because this is the one that's got filter. So I can just put the filters in place and then have it go. There you go, there's one. I need two more. Yeah, once the filter's in place, I can get it to filter everything that's not the bits that we want. And the rest of it will go into a trash can. And just like that, I think we've got everything that we need. Um, I I put the filters on both sides. That was a right pain in the bum. Oh, hello. Bit of a snack for me. Oh, I missed these ones. Fair enough, but... Yeah, if I look in here now... That one's empty. This one's got... Um, all the bits that we don't... No, that we do want as a blacklist, so it won't send those in here. And then in this one, it's got all the things that we do want, and that's on a whitelist, and it'll go in here. I hope that, that makes sense. So whitelist, so it can send the items we want, and a blacklist, so it can't send the items we want to the trash can. Oh, that was, um, uh, that was scary. I was like, what the heck's going on? So, the diamond bees are really coming in for us right here. Uh, I need to set this up downstairs. Because I just got 16. That's really good. That's like half of one of the things for the chunk destroyer, right? So, that's half of one of the quarry pluses. Uh, we've got quite a ways to go, I know. But we can speed this up with some upgrades. That's productive bees. Uh, where are all the upgrades for this? Aha, there we go. So, that is to go in the hive. Which one's the one that speeds everything up? Is it this one? No, that's the range. Bees will no longer physically exit the hive. A trip to flower block will instead be simulated. Make sure you put the required flower block, block or a feeding slab in front of the hive containing the Required flower. What? This is new. I've not seen this before. We might have to do this. That way we don't have like a ridiculous amount of bees flying about and like causing quite a bit of lag in our world. Oh, uh, before I forget, uh, the mine colonists can walk on these blocks. So I think they count as players, right? Because these are like, these blocks are only there. No, I'm completely wrong. The opposite. They're, they're not players because they can walk on them. So they act like just regular mobs. Got ya. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we can put down a bunch of simulation blocks. I really want to get my, my two regular bees out. I've got an extra one here. At some point, well, as soon as they pop out, I can breed them together and get more regular honeycomb. Because that's what we're missing right now. Right, I went totally off topic again. Apologies. Um, but I think I've figured out... Well, first thing, I've um, made a Wither Boss Muffler. Not that we need it, because I'm going to automate this in the mining dimension, I, I think. It's probably the best place. Uh, I was looking in modular routers because I believe there's one in here that makes it witherproof. Makes the modular router witherproof, right? And there's also a placer upgrade. So what we can do is... Uh, where's a good place to demonstrate? Uh, do, let's do it right here. So pretend this is the wither right here. Maybe I'll get a couple of blocks. Uh, yeah, a bit of dirt. Now it does. So... If we've got a modular router that is these seven blocks right here, so seven modular routers, we can have placer upgrades that place like right in front. So my plan is we pump through. Yeah, yeah. So the plan is we pump through uh, the soul sand and it just always goes through. And then we have a timer that then places these, the uh, the Wither Skeleton Skulls. And it goes place, place, place. You can also get the modular router to like place 
not like right in front of it like this, like just eh, like that. You can get it to like place on the block that's, so basically look down like a player and place like that. So we can get those to place down, but obviously if we place those, well you can't place them down unless there's uh, some soul sand. And then that'll create a wither. And then I need to figure out a way of killing the wither. And I do wonder, I might go into my test world really quick and have a look to see if the mob grinding utils mob grinder will kill the wither. Like if it floats down into it, does it go like, Ur, and then take damage? Let's go and have a look. Oh, I loaded into the wrong world, damn it. Okay, we are in the test world that I, I made. Uh, that's fine. And I just want to see if this works or if it destroys the mob masher. Ideally it doesn't. Is he gonna go boom and then that's gonna pop off? Ooh, it's not. Oh, but he got out. Excellent. Uh sword? <laughs> Oh dear. That one's got quite a lot. No, come back. Don't destroy this village. It's a pretty cool looking village, this. Oh my goodness. Okay, note to self. Don't leave it open. Because <laughs> he slipped out somehow. Uh, uh, I could do one of these, can't I? Middle click. All right, there we go. Well, I think that kind of proves. I want to see if we can actually kill the wither, though, with this. So, one more try. I'll even block him in. Because eventually we're not going to have, like, this, are we? So he's going to do his explosion, and then is he just going to be ow, 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 ow? Oh, okay, he's going to get stuck in the corner. Oh, I wonder if the fans work as well. Right, here we go. Got the fans going. I don't know if that will push him into the middle. Uh, he seems to be a lot better. Okay. And then we have a vacuum hopper that sucks that in. Why am I doing this? Like, do I need lots of nether stars? I don't know. I know we need two. Okay, I think I've got everything I need to set this up. Even though I don't really need to set this up. But uh, where is that one? That one is this side. Let's put this one here. Beautiful. So, ah, oh, this might be in different chunks. Oh, I don't care. It's fine. So what I've got, what I've got here is, I'm gonna do it on this side. I've got everything in my inventory. I think we need do something like that, and then not there. Thank you. Fell in the hole. Excellent. Oh my goodness! I just can't place blocks today. Brilliant. That one goes there. So we got. Seven modular rears, as we were saying previously. Uh, we've got two modular rears here, so these will be sending to this thing. Because I was trying to think, how do we get items into this, and how do we do the redstone -y stuff for this? Uh, because the wither will just like explode, and all the redstone will be destroyed, right? Not if we wirelessly send the items, so I kind of want to do that. Uh, we also need to put... Did I only make six of these? I thought I made seven. Interesting. Right, I'll have to go make another one. Oh, nearly got everything right. I don't know what happens. Can I just... Yeah, I need to shift click. So this one up here, I need to go make another one of those. Uh, but then we put a placer. And I think... Uh, not all seven, thank you. Let's see, that's what I thought would happen. If we put a block in here, it should place it down. 
I need a lot more sender modules as well for this. So all of these have got them. So if I do this one, are you just going to place? I'm not exactly sure how this one places. Uh, eh. None. Okay, we want to do it in front. And there you go, it places it down. Perfect. Annoyingly, I have to do that for every single one of these now. So instead of doing them one by one, what I'm going to do is open them all up as the stack, do front, and then I can put all of these back in. I'm going to go make the, the extra one of the blast upgrades that I missed. And I'm going to make a bunch more sender modules as well. Now I do realize I can't put a fan on this side. It just it's not going to fit. So I put it at the top. Hopefully being pushed down, he'll be pushed into the middle. I am not sure yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. Uh, I also don't need all the upgrades that I originally put in. So just one of these each should do it. I hope at least. I'm sure we'll find out. So I could do one of those, one at the top. And then I just need to put levers all over these. There you go. Something like that. So what we can do now, I did just think of something that might be a pain. I might need individual routers for each one of these because this guy here will just continue to send to this one until this one is full up and then it will move on to this one and then you know it would do the nearest first but if we have four and we get it to send one at a time so like redstone pulse it so it only does one uh, on all four of them, it will go like, all four will send different ones. I think that might be the plan. And the same with this, but I only need three for this. Right, I think everything is set up. I just need to give this thing a redstone signal. Uh, I also forgot redstone. Excellent. I don't know if I like these two up here and this one up here either. But I can always move this to like... There, that should do it. All of these are set to pulse, so they won't actually do anything until they get a redstone pulse. If you get what I mean. Uh, this one I might just put there. Oh, that's a cool pattern. I like it. So if I was to give this a redstone pulse, for example. Okay, so I need to prime them first. But that one there, do you see that? It put down the uh, soul sand right there. There you go. We've got a wither. Fingers crossed nothing explodes. Come on. Ow. Why are you stuck in the corner? You daft sausage. Okay, come over this direction. He knows his fate if he comes in this direction. That's the thing. It's got to be the fan, right? I could put the fan in the corner right there. Ooh, I just knocked my mouth. Uh, my. Not my mic. Um, there we go. Ah, we did it. Oh, and our magnet managed to pick it up through the block. Perfect. So now all we need to do is. Set up a redstone pulse that hits all of these ones here. I don't exactly know how we're going to do that though. And I think that's one for the next episode. Yeah, this took quite a while to set up and sort of plan and think about. I, I've got a timer right here. But I might need to move the fan. That might do it. Because uh, I might might need one more of the fan upgrades. And then that will push it over to this side. And then it will push it in this direction. It's quite low as well. I might need one of the ones that goes up and down. Because right now, if I do show area, it's only doing sort of this area. But if we were to do up and down as well, it would push it from above. So that's the plan. Right, anyway, let's have a look at the stats. 
we are at da, 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 da. time since last death nearly a day we're at nearly a whole day time played right now a uh, whole day whole two days even better cool all right well thank you for watching thanks for joining and uh i'll get a redstone pole set up for this somehow i'll try and figure one out and uh we will see you in the next one bye okay i'm not gonna let you like leave you hanging with that i i made this stupid redstone -y thing uh this one here goes over and like activates all of these and then this is kind of like a delay so I just plopped them down like this and it seemed to work. So I'm going to leave it. I also added a new uh, mob grinder. So all of these are pushing basically in this direction. I think I could have just done one instead of having it right in the middle because that was a bit of a pain. But it got rid of one of the fans. That fan is at the top because I forgot this is four tall. So I could put it right on top. And it's got a upgrade in it eh, right here. So it's got two whip so it goes out to here and it's got two extra whip so it comes down to here and it also goes up so if i land on top it flings me forwards like that so without further ado da 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 it makes a wither i tried having these on the side right here but it kept blowing up the redstone blocks so give it a second ow and insta kill and so far in my testing it seems to have killed it every single time now i've got myself a timer and this timer has got a five minute delay so every five minutes it will do a pulse and just so i can turn it off whenever i fancy i've got a lever here as well and I've chunk loaded this entire area. I did use six chunks to do this, so probably not the best idea. You could probably do this in one chunk, looking at all the components that are needed. And over here, I've got an absorption hopper. So that's just going to put into my ender chest right here and put it in my system. So every five minutes now, I should get a new nether star if I've got soul sand in my system. And, um, with skeleton skulls which i've got plenty of with skeleton skulls but soul sand not so much uh the reason i decided to do that in this episode is because there's no house content today we haven't done anything uh we've had a long day at work so i'm not going to do anything today you need a few days off don't you every so often <laughs>